Hey guys, welcome back. If you've seen my previous videos of the Goodwill Blue Box, I did the Thrifty Apparel. Today I have the Apparel Box. I wanted to compare the two, see which one was better, which one is a better deal. This one was $29.99 uh, with $7 shipping, so it comes to $36.99. You get 10 to 12 pieces. Now in the thrifty apparel, I think I got like 14, some, something like that. I don't exactly remember. I did open the box. I checked them out because I got this yesterday, I want to say, and I was impatient and I didn't want to record that day. But I'm going to show it with you guys so you guys can see because I know there's not a lot of recent videos on the apparel boxes from Goodwill. So this first one, it's a Max Studio. It is new with tags. It says it retailed for $88. I don't know how much I can get for this, but maybe I can list it for like, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks, and then just go from there. I'll just give myself room to make offers. That's why I list it a little higher than normal. This next one is Westbound Petite's Stretch. It's a size PL, so Petite Large. This one is also new with tags. It says $34. Uh, then they put it on clearance for $20 lime cream shirt and this is this either has dirt on it or that's an actual stain but hopefully that will come off in the in the wash but then i will have to take this out so maybe i can do like a spot clean i mean we'll see this next one Feels kind of like a suede-ish material. It is me on me, and it's an extra small, new with tags, and it says fifty-eight dollars that it retailed for. And it's this sleeveless uh, pants. Yeah, that makes sense. Sleeveless pants. Yeah, I know what I mean. It's sleeveless, but it's also pants. Feels really soft. It says Francesca's on here. So I don't know if that means anything. I haven't heard of this brand before. So hopefully you guys can see that okay. Next, looks like a button up sweater. It's from Anthony Richards size 12 and it's just yeah it's just a button up sweater then this next one we have a lily pulitzer extra small and this is a really cute top and i did look this one up this one is the crew blue in uh, from sea to shining sea and i know this one is selling used for about 30 bucks so i already have i actually already have this one listed and within within the first 30 minutes i already had i had three likes so i'm expecting this one to go really fast apparently that's a popular brand Now this next one, it's Chico's size two. And this has an interesting pattern on it. Not my style, but it'll be somebody's. It looks like it's in really good condition. It doesn't look like it has been worn much at all. So this looks like a three quarter sleeve or it could be, a no, let me see. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll say a three quarter sleeve. And this one's actually cute. I haven't listed any of the other ones yet. Um, but if I get a chance today, then I will. This is Ivanka Trump, and it is in extra small. And this is white, so I gotta look it over really well to make sure there isn't any stains and stuff. I mean, there's none that I can see so far. It looks to be in really good condition. sheer top but it's really pretty oh, this next one i have no idea what this is but it's new with tags it is from lof love of fashion in new york 100 percent acrylic oh wait I'm holding it the wrong way do you guys know what this is? This literally is it. Like, so maybe it's like you put it over like this. I don't know. This one is Jones New York Signature. It is a large. I like the bottom, how it's scrunched up at the bottom. And it has those things on it. I like that. So that hides your, um, the, uh, what you call it? The muffin top. Even though it's stripes, I, I don't know. But I like this one. And this next one is also new with tags. It is junk food. It literally says junk food on it. An extra large. This looks like a kid's. It's a kid's size 12. It says heat, Miami heat. This retailed for $30. It does have an NBL, NBL, BAA sticker on it. So I gotta look that one up to see what's the value on that when i had the thrifty apparel box none of those were new with tags all right so this one is a chico's size one and it's just looks like a lime green button up just a couple more this is thread and supply i haven't heard of that one either it is a size medium. Is this like a, this is really long. So this must be some kind of like nightgown. Yeah, this has got to be a nightgown. Either that or a t-shirt dress. I'm gonna go with nightgown. This is Meraki, I hope I'm saying it right. Meraki, it's a size medium. It's a nice blouse. Button up. No? Oh, it fooled me. I thought it was button up. This is pretty. For me, I'm trying to get just lighter colors. Because I have my, my wardrobe, a lot of it is dark colors. That's what I'm comfortable with. This looks really pretty, though. So I'll have to look that one up. And then the last is a pair of socks, which I'm most likely just going to keep because, you know, all my socks be disappearing. So... You know, this kind of looks like, what would it be? Boys, men's, Veterans United Home Loans. 
This is probably something you get for free with like purchase or something. If we count the socks, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever this is, eight, nine, 10, 11, my hair's just getting in the way. 12, 13, and 14. So was this a better box than the Thrifty Apparel? Definitely. You get a lot of stuff that's new with tags and a lot more, well, you get better brands. So I think the apparel box is definitely a lot better than the Thrifty Apparel. Even though I have sold a few things from the Thrifty Apparel and I've sold stuff from the Thread Up Denim box. So all in all, I've made a little over $200 already just on these boxes. So if you ask me if they're good, if they're a good way to start up your you know your small reselling business it's it's a good way to start up to have some inventory to sell and make money on the side i mean i've made i've made well over two hundred dollars already and it's helped so much so would i continue to buy these boxes yeah the denim box from thread up i'm still iffy on that i don't know yet um, but I am planning on getting a denim box from Goodwill Blue Box. And we'll test that one out. But either way, whichever box you get, you'll still make a profit off of it. If not, you'll still at least be able to get your money back. Even if something is only like $5, $5 $6, you should still list it anyway. Because you never know what someone is into, what type of clothing they're looking for. You just might have the piece that they're looking for and they'll be willing to pay those extra bucks. You never know. So that's what I'm doing. I'm listing everything that I can so I can get at least my money back. And if I get a profit off, a profit off of it, that's, that's even better. Um, so that is it for today. If you like this video, please give me a huge thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any comments or questions. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I do read all the comments and I do reply back. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. So you guys have a beautiful day. Until the next video. Bye.